A welcome back. Joining us right now in studio is State Senator Tanya Shoemaker. She's here to tell us about some new legislation. Thanks so much for being here Thank this you. morning. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Always appreciate having you. Now, this legislation is to make mental health treatment more available to those who might need it. Um, I guess just tell us a little bit about this bill. What well, is it? This bill is meant to coordinate better and facilitate more communication amongst uh, the court system and jails along with community mental health. Okay. So how are these individuals who might be um, I guess, might have treatment as an option under this bill. How are they identified? Well, they're identified. First of all, there were studies done that said a lot of our prison population, 20 or 30 percent, are in there because uh, they have a mental illness. And so this is really uh, to reduce recidivism, to identify it, and to get treatment before they recommit a crime. And so if there's better communication at the inset and uh, uh, community mental health is identifying uh, those people with serious mental illness uh, in our jails and coordinating with the prosecutor and the judges and everything. I think uh, that uh, they'll be better served and it will hopefully reduce crime. And those are perhaps, or those people are perhaps best identified by the people who are dealing with them when they're committing the crimes, the judges, the officers on the street, correct? Exactly, exactly. And this does nothing to reduce sentencing. The sentencing still uh, may, remains with the judges. Okay. Now, your inspiration for this bill, where did this idea come from? Well, actually, Gov Lieutenant Governor uh, Brian Kelly did stakeholder groups around the state uh, for the past couple of months, and this came out of uh, inspiration for him and having a social worker as a mother I've always uh, uh, felt that if we solve a lot of our mental health issues uh, the society will be better off for it. Now on a different note real quickly we had Margaret O'Brien in earlier this week and previous to her Sean McCann they both announced their intentions to run for your current seat obviously you're vacating and now running unopposed at this point in the 26th district uh, what are your feelings about this race for the seat, the 20th district seat? Well, I think uh, the residents of Kalamazoo County will uh, be able to make a choice. I've worked very well with Representative O'Brien. I be believe she's a solution finder, and I think uh, in this world where there's so many problems, we need uh, people like her to be solution finders. All right. Should be an interesting race for sure. Of course, we appreciate having you. Thanks so much for being here this morning. And we look forward to hearing more about this bill in the future and what, what, uh, what, it, what it is ahead for it. Thanks Great. so much for Thank being you. here this morning.